Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Star Wars Battlefront. The last part we took care of Rebellion on the and this part we'll be handling aggressive negotiations on Kashyyyk. So let's jump into that. The Wookiees continue to resist our overtures. Now they will learn the price of their insolence. Take a legion to Kashyyyk and destroy the trade settlement. So the Wookiees are infringing on our trade rights. It's time to teach them a lesson. Destroy the Wookiee trade settlement on Kashyyyk. Our new super battle droids are now available. Count Dooku will assist you in this battle. Okay, hooray. First EU battle, which stands for Expanding Universe, if you pay to any. It's basically anything about Star Wars outside the films. Blah, 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 whatever. A geeky crap, but... I think this takes place exactly five years after Phantom Menace, which also places it five years before Attack of the Clones. So, yeah. New Super Battle Droid is available, and it's a bit better than original Battle Droid, and these Wookiees are evil. This is the main reason, really, why I didn't want to do this on R, because for whatever reason, this level gave me a ton of trouble on this, I mean, on hard, but yeah, basically my main strategy is just try to slip past. Oh crap, I'm almost dead, come on. Yeah, just hide back here. Heal up. This is basically gonna be like a camping mission almost because I. Basically on hard. I don't do well against the wikis as I do against other sides for some reason. I think my average KDR against them is like 2 to 1, so. 2 kills every death. I mean, that's still productive, but. In this game, it's kind of bad when you consider all your bot allies are complete idiots and are getting torn to shreds by these Wookiees. I mean, Count Dooku does give you some help, but still, he's not enough to do it alone, and if... Yeah, let's just take care of the rest of the Wookiees around here. Yeah, that, um, wrist rocket launch is what they have in place of grenades. And it's pretty effective at, at taking out single units though it's more handy against vehicles. It doesn't have as much splash damage, so don't try to use it like a grenade. It won't really work as well. And it doesn't have as much damage as a grenade. It's not like an insta-kill. But it will send enemies flying, so that's useful. Because the computer will exploit it to no end if you get launched up in the air and knocked down and land. They will fire on you while you're still standing up, and you can do nothing about that, and you'll probably die. So anyways, they took another one of our command posts, but anyways... That means a lot of them have moved over to the whatever command post that is. I, all the years playing this game, I haven't memorized most of the command posts, but anyways. Yeah, my strategy is usually capture. Uh, I think that's the last one I caught was called the West Village. I don't know. But anyways, then slip through here and just hide here. Hide, just crouch behind that thing. There's one of those... See these command posts that have like the big bulky thing where the light's coming out of instead of it just being situated right in the ground? Like, these ones are... take a lot longer to kill, they're more... important command points, basically, because easier to hold with how long you have to stand there just to free them from enemy control, and basically with command posts, um... you have to stay in the area the entire time you're taking it, taking it from the enemy, because if all your units leave or get killed in that area, the thing will reset and you'll have to wear it down the entire way. So that aids the defense. Now, when it's neutral, the side that builds it up, they can leave, and it'll still be built up to their side. So that is how neutral is more balanced. But when it's near control, it's more defense um, favored. So yeah. Anyways, now we captured all the command posts by that one, and now we have the high ground based on where they're attacking from now, so we can just tear them to shreds, basically. Like, even if they move out and capture another command post, it's too late. We've worn down too many of their reinforcements really quickly. Bots are doing surprisingly well for my side. So, now just take care of the last stragglers. Basically here, you wouldn't want to move up, and it's really annoying. On heart, they would always move out and capture that command post. And they would be swarming the village area. 
but there would still be enough up on that hill that you couldn't take that either. So basically, you would have to just rush and pray you could actually take one because if you only have two command posts left, you're in trouble. So that's the main thing that gave me problems on this mission on hard. I just had to rush and they'll tear you to shreds when you try to do that. Like, hard you can't really rush very well. On medium you can rush decently well, but on hard, no, it won't work too well. Because they're more accurate and you can't hope to just outlast them. So one Wookiee left. Come on, die. No, I'm missing really badly. I'm terrible bad at firing on things in water. When they're in water, um, you can only hit the part that um, is above water. So it's kind of defensive use. Like, if you hit the water, it's not going to affect them. And, oh, can't do could beat me. Had the same amount of kills, but I had death. So he wins. Um, super D-pad. Cooperate. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to stroll down again and show you this crap. Uh, excuse me. Um, whatever. Uh, do, do, do. Okay. Right, let's just check out my stats. One headshot. That's kind of lame. And I didn't get any awards because stupid Count Dooku stole my public enemy. Barely. Whatever. Um, okay, so I think we unlock something with this too. Um, perhaps. I'm not sure. Maybe. Yeah, we got the Star Wars Battlefront art. So I think that's concept art. I'm not sure. Whatever it is. Whatever. Uh, what does it matter? Prevent the yeah, okay, whatever. So we finished up the Separatist portion of the Clone Wars, and the next part will start off the actual Clone Wars with the Battle of Geonosis. So see ya.